Thank you once again for coming in to listen to a new case of a lecture. Today, what I'm going to talk about is a very special day, but before I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope the end of the year I've treated you so well. I understand what our planet has been through, the evolution and the experiences, the comic retributions we've experienced throughout this whole year and the year before. But all put together is for our collective good as humanity so that we evolve to the next consciousness that the universe expects us to be. It has been a very tough year across the globe. Uh, the wars here, the misunderstanding there, the fear of uh, Second World War, nuclear war and all those things. But in all what is happening, the cosmic intelligence stands tall. And when we learn to lean on that cosmic intelligence, we would come out successful. There are a lot of predictions regarding 2023, which I've heard some of them. Uh, some of them are quite terrifying to the extent that people are afraid to even live life, to live their normal lives and to do their normal things, do their normal businesses. But if so, what's the essence of doing all those things if all this evil is going to take place on humanity? But I'm here to give you courage. I'm here to give you strength that don't be despaired. Hold on to the faith for there is a creator that created this universe and is in charge of everything and everything that is evolving is evolving according to his plan and according to his purpose. So please go about your normal duties the way you are going about your normal duties. Don't be despair, don't be discouraged, don't let fear get a better part of you because God knows what he is doing. 2023, I'm not promising too much of a good year. It's going to be a tough year. We all know people have predict predicted it and uh, so many things have been said. But I'm here to tell you that this whole hardship that's going to take place is not something that's going to take place on a, on, a, on, a, on, a, on a general sense, okay? Because see, what you should understand is that in 2023, people are going to buy cars. Some people are going to build houses. Some people are going to give birth. Some people are going to go to jail. Others are going to have problems. Others are going to marry. Others are going to go through divorce. So we're not going to have just a wholesale punishment or a wholesale atrocity befalling our planets. But the point is that the energy which is ruling in the time of 2023 has its own good side and bad side. And if we understand how the energy is going to play and the current is going to release, and we're able to flow alongside the current of that energy, then we may have the opportunity of reducing the impact, the negative impact that is going to have on our lives. You see, 2023 is not too much of a good year, frankly speaking. Uh, there will be some level of farming, the level of scarcity, there will be some human imbalances. And these things are going to happen when human beings are aligned towards materialism. Because the energy that is going to control 2023 are energies of spirituality and selflessness. You see, so if we do not tow that path of the energy which is going to control 2023 activities in the various dispensations that are going to happen, then what is going to happen is that we are going to feel the, the negative impact of that energy. But when we are able to move and live according to the desire of that energy and the role the energy is coming into play in our lives, in terms of spirituality, self-awareness, enlightenment, self-knowledge, self-realization, God-realization, then we would flow according to the energy of that current and then things will be normalized and will not have that adverse effect. So, in all, the Ami Parker said, 2023, a year, I fear, 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 because if you have a contract from COVID funds, you know, a supply detergent, you know, and you know, if you see nine out of that, they made a fortune out of it. And when there's any adverse effect on the universe, any adverse effect will be a 
But one more but on the bra, according to the tenants of energy now, a rule, you know, and then I am my end up effect. It's a person catching on to 2023 and my years rule a fear and a back and just like any other year, just like 2022 about about to an end, just like 2019 by a COVID by a year with a year. If you move, you move, say you're going to COVID time. So the point is that. Twenty twenty three, when the main too much of doom prophecies, oh, a prophecy are any in some part because twenty twenty, a boom better than a boom is a boom better car, a boom be a boom be worry. At the same time, also a boom be nyawa ejaye, a boom a boom be nyi yi, a boom be show mo car, a boom be nyi accident. It is it is something which is going to happen. That is the cosmic energy. But once they have understood. To me, a be a be control twenty twenty three. No, a one a pedi a ope. And a a a one a one near ope so obey. And a to me a a di twenty a be di twenty 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 three. So no, a to me a a be person ye ni pa dasi ni ye be ye be ye be ye su su ni juma mo. And a be ye adoye. Ye a be a hunya. Se ye be a hunya na idea ye a wa wa yon. It is se twenty twenty three ba. Na udi sunsun ya mechi, udi nature echi, a body ya, ushu ya sena wababu, a body ya humbaya, eni nyamu 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 nyamu. I can promise you, wetu nashi obo se 2023 no, it will be very nice for you. When you are able to live according to the tenants of the energy that is going to control 2023, which is spirituality, preservation of nature, selfless living, I can promise you 2022 will be a very fine year. But when you do not move or flow according to the current of 2023 energy, which is what I've mentioned before, which is spirituality, purity, conservation of nature, and all those things now, and you decide to go into pure materialism, you know, then you're going to have a problem. So the point is, we must understand how a body is here, and a sena, we are saying, yeah, we are saying, say, yeah, this is a a very easier mind. So, you can't see any or how any a man who any yama be brave ever hit me back. Bible says that for people perish because of lack of knowledge. Or see, me 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 call for air say, and I'm more call or bring my number or yaw. I will need there or money muntia. So, whatever is happening to us as a people is because we lack knowledge, not because the universe wills it or desires it. But because we lack knowledge, and um, we are the center of everything which is happening in this cosmos. We are a co-creation of whatever is happening. If you decide to be at a particular place point in time, it's because you are there because you chose to be there. If you decide to marry a specific woman, you marry the woman because you chose to be marry the woman. So if you decide to buy a car, you bought that car because you decided to buy the car. So whatever is happening around you is your own creation. You are a co-creator. You think, you envisage, you visualize, and the universe provides it. So when you think good, you imagine good, you visualize good, the universe provides good. When you think evil, you visualize evil, and you imagine evil, the universe provides evil. Say, so, oh dream, Papa. Now, what to me, even Papa or what dream, man? Or what they also decide in the mouth. Na se opi yon boni, na wun boni wawo di mousa, sa de no se de de, mousaka. As a man think is so is he, se na ni pa adwe yon, sa na, otsi yana, sa na, onya. Iti, ye wun se 2020 ya yon komunu, e ye se ye, ye take a time, na ye se, tu mi na, e di 2020 yon so no, ni a ope, ni a o expertin yon se de be ye, what the energy expects us to do in 2023. When you're able to know what the energy expects us to do in 2023, then what is going to happen is that everything will be normalized. Now, the person may touch the yamaka crazy, now you're interested in a body at here because a body and a woman, a brabon and that what tries to act again. The the life we live in, or the evolution of consciousness within the earth plane, is not a wholesale thing. It comes in phases, and if we should understand these phases. Then we would understand how the universe is unfolding. Just like a wise man once said, You are a child of this universe, no less than the trees and the animals. You have the right to be here. And whether it is known to you or not, the universe is unfolding as it should. 
It, the universe is unfolding. And how does it unfold? What are the patterns of its unfoldment? This we need to understand. I say it is a minimum way in our assay. Send a bayer, send a air cosua, the bill near a cosu and a near as a year. Now, here, my church will never be one per se, you see, sign your man. Ah, I bet why I said about here called twenty twenty three, twenty twenty four, twenty five. You will send a boy a bra. Now, in Jay, say with a frat in your room, hm, it's a yeti. Just a yama be a wa in your room. Na Adam, a coware, nay then. Adam ware na yeden. Or ye as an evil ba na yeden. Jesus ware na yeden. All these things doesn't bring anything to you. So begin to pursue knowledge that will bring transformation. Knowledge that will bring benefit to you and the entire universe as a whole. Inti se se beta fache se oh you are say na oh su anya ma enfa enfa so mba ho na who is to time and energy. You need to learn things that will benefit you, things that will benefit your life, your family, your environment, your community, your nation, your continent, and the world at large. In the I say in the day of issue, I dare I will say, I dare I will be sure. Be I say I dare in fact so I dare bring the part. Abrabo, I say the first of all, Abrabo, because we say Abrabo is here for you. I say what you say. Time is the only thing that man can never afford to lose. Because judgment here can you know it depends on me or what they demand on your mouth seventy years, eighty years, and then on the year. Eighty years of your sin, then on the year. That is a question here. In this one, take it time. Opening your mouth, then you realize all your eighty years is gone. Then you leave this earth consciousness void and vacant. You don't have you don't have any knowledge. Only in the idea, and that is why you're going to have yourself trapped in limbo. Inti, the woman say, "Is he suing there? Is he suing there? Is he suing there? Are they in fast or be brave? And are they in fast or also? Because when you are brave, you can't ask me now. Are you here? See, obey me. We will prove our dear neighbor. Because Adam and Eve, when they men who you know, say, "Oh, are you? Oh, are you? You know, men say, 'Oh, you And unto me prove my own. Whether Adam had a wife before Eve." Or whatever it is, whether Jesus married you and I were not there. So we cannot prove it within our intelligence. The only solution to prove that thing for yourself is to transcend beyond mind, it is to transcend intellect, to enter into the realm beyond time where all things are kept. Then you can ascertain whether it is true or not. So let us put aside all unnecessary weights in 2023. But I'm for a fanyama be blessing and no, but yama is an unyam for so be any so. Though it is something, a be bidier is something which is tangible, you can hold it, you can feel it, but in real essence, it's of no use and it's of no value. We call it garbage, it's of no relevance to human existence. And a lot of people in life today are carrying garbage and they call it knowledge. The so called knowledge they carry is garbage because any knowledge that does not bring transformation and the collective good of humanity is not worthy of learning or emulation. And our world today is full of garbage. When you go to a uh, computer, say garbage in, garbage out. So there are a lot of things that you do that will, excuse me, there are a lot of things that you do that is purely garbage. You understand? But you think it is something that is of benefit. But the day you transcend this physical body, then you realize that the priceless time that the Creator gave to you to use for your good has been wasted for nothing. The day I will be free, we are saying, I will be free. I will not be free. A mere or boy or boy, they didn't mow. Say, be sure, dear, send a bear. I didn't have a wow. Now, boy, a man singing, and what was it? A meaning, you know. On your man, a moon, ya. See what the Raja then say. Yem will be brave, and then say, I bought out for almost your yammer, or first and your money yet. Also, on she, also on she. But what would you do? I didn't have one, and fashion, Breno. 
but still close from God enough. That is the problem people are having. They're having vain knowledge. And vain knowledge brings vexation of spirit. And that's the problem. In the year 2023, the Amerika chair, and I mean, I and I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I and I I I I I I See, Mr. Fraja, you're in your part of the world, you're in your part of the world, Africa, and you're here. Brandon, they're so drunk. But the reason why Africans are suffering because they lack knowledge. Not just any knowledge, but adequate knowledge which is necessary and needed for good transformation. And then, you're Africans, you're lacking. But say, say, you're Africans, you bet me up the knowledge now. A woman here, not yet the. Your yeah, knowledge, Papa, every brain transformation now. You be who say Africa, you be put in power. Actually, you be come about Africa because Africa is a special breed. The black race is a special breed, but because of lack of knowledge, you know, so they have been indoctrinated to take inferior of our personality. I know you a different topic for different uh, uh, program. Now we will learn how to liberate. That indoctrination that has suppressed us and have made us feel inferior of our personality. And once we are able to liberate ourselves from that mental slavery, Africa will break their spell and then get out of the box. And then today, let's come back to our topic. We are entering to the year 2023. People say it's year number seven, and seven is a good number. So people. I ask it, if it's a good number, why would people predict doom, hardship, chaos? You see, the vibration seven works according to your energy. Everything in life, everything according to sin, I will vibrate it. It's in our Bible say, for the power of God will be at work according to the power that is at work in you. So if the power in you is dormant, God will not perform. And it's that a lot of people go to pray. They shout. But because there's no power at work in them, nothing happens. It seems God does not exist. I won't compare 24, 7, 3, 6, 5 days in a year. But nothing happens. Why nothing happens? Because there's no power at work in them. So whatever is going to happen in this physical cosmos happens according to the vibration you are emitting. Because you are the center of everything that is happening. It is the number seven is a good number. But everything that is good has its bad side. Because we live in a world of duality. We have the negative and we have the positive. Now, according to your vibration, you either ignitize the negative or you ignitize the positive. Or you neutralize it into the balance. Being on the positive is good and better. But not the best. Being on the negative it's not acceptable because it, its effect is not the best. But the best of all is to be in the middle, which is in the balance. Neutralizing the energy of the positive and the negative in the center so that there will be productivity. That is what is going to happen. And that is what must happen in the year 2023. Because the year 2023 shouldn't be the way we lived our life in 2022. In ignorance. Because the world is evolving. And we are in the age of the golden age. The age where people can now comprehend wisdom, spiritual knowledge. We almost say our world goes through major four phases of evolution or, or ages of time. Okay. Now what is happening is that there are different smaller ages within it, but the four major the four major ages of our evolution, our earth evolution, is the dark age. We have the electrical age. We have the mental age and then we have the golden age. Now, basically, so see the dark age is the age where the earth lacks knowledge. Because the sun's energy is far away from the earth magnetic field, the center of the earth magnetic field. So the human intelligence or the human intellect doesn't get enough light energy. For them to be able to comprehend certain knowledge. 
So then, at that age, people think pure materialistic. I'm pray you are seeing Yamano. That is the dark age. Now, then we have the electrical age. Now, electrical age, you know, what is happening is that the, 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 the sun's energy draws a little bit closer and further to the center of the universe magnetic field. And the people begins to understand, they begin to understand life principles, the nature of things. Because in that is the electrical age. Now, which is the second level of consciousness. You see, now, then we have the third, which is the mental age. Now, the mental age is the age where people can develop within the subtle realm, but not the spiritual realm. But within the me mental age, some are very close to the earth magnetic field, so a lot of light is being thrown on, on, on our, our intellect. Then from there, we go to the golden age, which is sometimes referred to as the intuitive age. Now, the intuitive age is the age of spirituality, and that is the age we are in here. And that is the energy which is going to be removed from the year 2023, which is number seven. And number seven is synonymous to spirituality, just like number three. You understand? So, now that we have the fullness of number seven manifested in the year, and the energy which is going to control the, the, that year is the energy that fosters spirituality and purity and conservation of nature and moving in balance with nature. This is the solution to avert any form of catastrophe or danger or hardship that will befall us in the year 2023. So, in the year 2023, you must understand that you must live a life of spirituality. That is the only way out. And you must live in accordance with the law that governs nature, which is the universe. On to me, Bob Brebia, Keke, 2023, and yes, you must live life spiritually. Because anything that happens physically, first takes place spiritually. In T, say, one book, a problem, oh, soon, soon, one. Because the beer is so good, no beer no. The sea is so good, no one sir. Now, when say, Oshie Emre mo ayewe air corner, we must incorporate air condo. Who who niama? People are more interested in spirituality now. People are more interested in things of nature. You see. But unfortunately, the adverse energy, which is the opposite energy, you know, so is pushing and doing everything to its best capacity to push out artificial knowledge, to shift us from natural knowledge. So it is the battle between two energies. The battle between good and evil, right and wrong, God and evil. And we need to understand where, we, where our position is and where we stand and what we defend. And I'm telling you that on authority, that the year 2023, without spirituality, forget it, my brother. Forget it. Without spirituality, forget it. Because if you, if you have an idea, you have no idea. But if you want to have an idea, you will begin to search where you can get authentic spirituality. And we are not talking about spirituality, mediocre spirituality, spirituality below the third dimension. Because all those spirituality are just not too far for carnality. Because any spiritual practice which is below the uh, uh, third dimension is meant for self-aggrandizement. Those are magical tendencies, magical abilities, you know, miraculous abilities that to show off power. But we need authentic spirituality beyond the third dimension, where the higher self will begin to unfold itself and live according to the purpose of its divine call. Then you are free. But until then, forget it. Because the intelligences that be, that are using the adverse energy, are going to suppress people. They are going to marginalize people. They are going to take people out of their work. They are going to destroy a lot of professions. A lot of professions become meaningless and useless because you are going to, into the age you are going to have self-drive cars. 
So if you have self drive cars, we don't need drivers no more. You're going to enter to the digital era where a lot of bank tellers are going to lose their jobs, insurance agencies are going to lose their jobs. My brother, I, I don't want to go into this that kind of terrify people, but I'm here to give solutions and what we need to do in order to avert all these situations. You see, ask yourself, Sika open or anything in our Why are you looking for a man? And in 2023, 20, going, will be an all for enjoyment's sake. You are, you're already a loser. Everything that you seek in 2023 must be with the purpose of enhancing spirituality. If that is not the reason and the purpose why you are seeking for anything material, forget it. Because when the whole structure is put in place by the adverse energy or the intelligences that be that want to control the physical cosmos. Even your religion, you call Christianity, will be taken away from you. Your religion, you call Islam, will be taken away from you. Your religion, you call uh, Buddhism, will be taken away from you. Because they are going to control religion, they are going to control businesses, they are going to control family. What you call your children will be taken away from you. You don't have the right over your children. You have the right to give birth, they don't have the right in their upbringing. You don't have the right to business. There are so many things that the new world order is going to put in place. But the only thing they can never take away from you is your self-realization. Who you are. They can take everything external from you, but they can never take your self-realization. And that's the only thing that will be with you from the day you realize it to the day you will die. But today, that is not what we are talking about. But I'm just giving you a preamble to be conscious and to be aware of what is going to happen and how to navigate your way through it. Because there comes a time that if you don't have certain access and certain passwords, you can even not even go and buy things from malls. This is the reality. This is the reality. But if you know spirituality, you can go inside and you come back into the body satisfied and full. Do you know as we talk to you, I'm talking right now, there are plans in coming out with uh, 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 ATM uh, 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 dispensary machines where when you have doc doctor prescription, you go to the ATM and then whatever drugs it takes, you get it out. There are so many things which is happening on the quiet. But by the time they are done with it and they put everything together and consolidate everything, the only thing that you can have and you can depend on is your self-realization. That's your spiritual knowledge. Without it, forget it. And that is why we say here at the Way Network, we are here to show you the way to spread knowledge in the world of illusion. The, the history of the entire world has been rewritten to suit certain class of people's expectations. The school you go, I believe in schooling. Schooling is fine. Ubeko school is fine. Ubeko university is fine. But I want you to understand that. You see, it's better to know what you are pursuing than to pursue it in ignorance. Yes, I go who near. Oh, yeah. Chinse, Ube, yeah, I did. I only made it to you. Schools were set up to serve somebody's interest. Universities and everything were set up to serve, to, to serve some people's interest. And that is not where we are going to be attending some of these topics later, later in some of the videos. But I want you to understand that everything that is happening in this fiscal consciousness is being formulated to serve other people's interests. And this you must know, and this is the truth. If school was designed for your interests, and the essence of going to school is to make a living, to make money. Which school or which university teaches you how to make money? There's a topic, say, oh, today our topic is how to make money. You see, because if the end should be taught just like that. So, what I'm trying to establish is that everything which is happening is happening for somebody else's good. 
except one thing that when it happens, it happens for your good, and that is self realization through spirituality. And the truth of the matter is this because they know that once you have self realization, you break loose from the shackles of their indoctrination, they are making every possible effort to ensure that you not come to that self realization to know who you are, why you are in this world, what you are supposed to do in this world, what you are supposed to achieve in this world, how long it's going to take you to achieve whatever you want to achieve, and what you are going to do with every achievement for the collective good of humanity. They won't let you know that. But here, we teach you the truth. We let you understand why you are in this life, what you are supposed to do in this life, how long it's going to take you to do whatever you want to do in this life. And when you are dead and gone, you secure a higher consciousness. Either to come back or to be there and help other people. That's your choice. And this is the truth they don't want you to realize. They don't want you to realize that there is God in you. They have created an imaginary elusive God sitting somewhere, always, always punishing his children on earth. But the truth of matter that God is in you. They have always pursued and pursued us to pursue in the Christian fraternity Jesus Christ hanging on the cross. But the truth of the matter is that there's no Jesus Christ hanging on the cross no more. The man hung on the cross once upon a time, was removed from the cross, went to the grave, came out of the grave, transcended life consciousness to show us a pattern of life. And that Christ essence is in you and I. So when you decide to seek Christ externally, you live in a life of illusion. Because Christ must be seek internally. That's why the Bible says that to whom this secret shall be revealed, that Christ in him is the hope of glory. So the hope of your glory is to seek the internal Christ, not the external Christ, hanging on the cross, or a picture of some kind of Man, who, who, who we don't know where it's coming from, and you go worship him as, 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 as your God. Wake up from your slumber. Wake up from your slumber. Wake up from your slumber. Because you, this is the time of your evolution. This is the time of your enlightenment. This is the time of you acquiring adequate knowledge to set yourself free. You see, it is not 24 hour prayer that will set you free. If it is so, they say, the scripture should have said, and ye shall pray, and your prayers will set you free. But that's not what your scripture tells you in your Bible and in my Bible. Rather, it says that, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth will set you free. So, what kind of wine of the devil have you drunk that this truth is plain in the Bible, and you don't make any effort to look for that truth? I ask questions. And I've asked a lot of reverends and bishops that question. If the Bible contains all the truth, why would the Bible write that? And you shall know the truth and the truth will set you. Where are you going to know it from? If the Bible contains all the truth, why would in the Bible you write that seek and you find acts and you shall be given? So ask from who? If it's all documented in this holy book, why would you go and ask? Why are you going to ask it from? So the truth still remains that the Bible and all other books are just a bicentimal of the absolute truth. They give you just the, you know, just the minor basic things to draw your attention that there's a higher truth that man must seek. Just as a seek and you find, ask and it shall be open, knock and it shall be open unto thee. If you don't believe me, Jesus told his disciples, I said, there are so many things I need to teach you. But how be it? You are not ready now. But when the spirit of truth come upon thee, it shall lead you unto all truth. So that means, as at the time Jesus was speaking, the world didn't have all truth. So the Bible could never be all truth. Neither would the Quran be all truth. Or the Bhagavad Gita be all truth. So the question is, where is all the truth? And how can you assess all the truth? You understand? If 
truth is somewhere. We need to find it. But the problem is that where is that truth? Where can we find it? I'll come back to this thing because what I'm talking to is very, very important because without this knowledge, you cannot understand what I'm going to talk about here. So all truth lies within yourself. There's no truth external of you. All greatness lies within yourself. There's no greatness external of you. That's what the Bible says, that greater is he that is in you than he that is of the world. So, if you want to know the ultimate truth, you must learn to go inside, come to a self-realization, know who you are, and have your connectivity with divinity, your source. Once you have connectivity with your source, you have access to all truth, because your source is absolute truth. What we call God, actually, is the absolute truth. To our level. The truth of matter is, is even beyond truth. Because he is the source from which truth emanates. But let's take it that he is the absolute truth. So if you want to know the absolute truth, realize who you are. Discover your personality. Go inside yourself. Realize yourself and have a connectivity with God. And you say, big man, open the credit, the credit chart, man. Bible says, Visa, I did not know. Home, I did not know. She should now do. Question number three, did you understand? Say, Bible no, I will be praying in her. Go on, I will be praying in her. But I will be praying in her. I did not know most of the entry. I could be sure. Times I can move you, and it's all right. See, I didn't know him. Simple as that. So, look, I get difficult to say how I'm conforming your preaching, the way my ambassador is. I get difficult, sir. They have only complicated the truth to confuse you. So, you can never find your way back to the truth. You've always been an embodiment of truth. You were conceived in truth, you were born in truth, and you grew up in truth. And in your process of growing up, they indoctrinated you away from the truth. So now the only thing you have to do is to journey back to the truth. And that is the, the journey back to the self. This is as simple as that. If you don't get this, you are doomed for eternity. That's why wise man once said, there is a tide in the affairs of man, taken at a goal, less to great fortune, omitted all the void of our lives in bound in shallows and misery. When you omit that tides in your life, which is that self-realization, all the void of your life is born in shallows and in misery. And you need to get that tides. And that is the, the single most important thing on earth. Above all education, above all schooling, above all acquisition, above all achievements. Just say, you can have billions of dollars, trillions, whatever it is, without self-realization, you're a joke. Because you see, the truth of the matter is that where is Rockefeller? It's gone. Where is Onassis? Gone. Where are the uh, the big big names you have, you have? Uh, the Nazi, the leader of the Nazi, uh, Adolf Hitler, gone. Uh, 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 Nebuchadnezzar, gone. Everybody is going to leave this physical consciousness one way or the other. It doesn't matter. All these billionaires you see, them they're going to leave this consciousness one way or the other. There's one thing that you're going to go with, and that is yourself. Because you can never leave yourself. And so that self, it is mandatory to find that self whilst you have the opportunity in this lifetime. When you miss that self, you've missed everything because all other things are useless. All other things become useful when you discover the self. Because all things matter because you are alive. And all things will never matter when you are no longer alive. So it's all and has always and will always be about you. And it is the you which is the most important. And that 
is what we need to look for. This is the realization we need to have. I can tell you, this is the epitome of spiritual realization. That when you are able to realize this thing, you don't care what 2023 people predict me. I don't care. Tell me hell is going to break loose on hell. It's going to break loose on hell. On the people it's going to break loose, but not me. Yes, because I know who I am. I know my personality. As long as I know what is going to be in 2023 for me. But what about you? Do you know what is going to happen to you? You live your life in providence. You are at the mercy of external unfoldments of the universe. And you have no control over whatever happens. But when you discover who you are and you have a connectivity with your divine essence, which you call God, then you began to have a master. You know, there was, there was a cartoon so many years ago. It was called Captain Planet. When the four elements come together in the presence of the ether, which is the heart, representation of the heart in a way, it forms the captain of the planet. And the captain of the planet is not overcome by anything that is unfolding within the planet because he controls the planet. This is it's a cartoon, but this is life truth that has been put in, in a, that has been put in a comic form. When you realize yourself, you realize who you are, all other things fall in place. And when things are happening, because you understand why they are happening, you are not bothered. It's the problem you are bothered is because things are happening, you don't know why they are happening, and you don't know the purpose for which they are serving. But when you begin to know the purpose for which it is serving, you are not bothered. You understand? Let's say, for instance, you go, you're going somewhere, and your car hits, bang, or your car breaks down. You're worried. Eh, I have to go and cut this check. I have to meet this business appointment. I have to meet this wedding appointment. I need to meet this a, a presentation. You're worried. Then all of a sudden, you have a revelation that from where you are to the next two junctions will take you two minutes. And the speed at which you are going, you get exactly in two minutes. And exactly two minutes, there's going to be two articulators crashing at the very spot you would be. You realize that that worry of a car breaking down and you're grateful rather than being ungrateful. So people worry because they don't know why things are happening. They are not conscious of the uncertain things that are in life. And they are scared. Fear has taken the better part of them. And why is fear, worry, and all those things have taken better part of humanity? It's because if you don't realize who we are. If you are living a life of illusion, yes, 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 this one say you are doing, this one say you are doing, this one says you are doing. Hey, they came oh, COVID, 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 COVID. Everybody was scared. But it's a couple of times I ask my wife, look, mother, forget it. Those who kill will kill. Those who die will die. But me, I'll die. You understand? And I told my wife that, look, in our country, Ghana, exactly the month COVID came, exactly that month, COVID will not be regarded again. And exactly the same, and COVID wasn't regarded no more. You understand? All those propounding of. Uh, Theories, whether COVID is real or it's not real or whatever it is, for me, that is not my business. We know what it is. There, there are so many troubles in our world already, we don't want to add, add more troubles, but we know where COVID is. We know what it is. But we don't want to add to the troubles of this world. There are so many chaos, so many misunderstandings, so many atrocities in our world already. What we want is the restoration of the balance of peace and harmony and love in our world. So that the evil ones that are perpetrating Things to bring the earth consciousness to a lower and a degraded form will be cleared out. But the more we have good people having that collective positive vibration, the negative ones naturally die out. But when the good ones are less, then the negative one begins to take over. And that is what our, our, our world is facing. You understand? So please, we'll continue with the main reason why we're here, but the key to what we're going to discuss is self-realization, spirituality. And self-realization 
is not about all these blah 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 people are talking about that i have to be very frank with you because i'm here to tell you the truth in this my present incarnation i'm i'm, I'm here to tell you the truth and I, the truth must be said no matter what it is there are so many ways but you need to find a way in life there are so many ways but you need to find a way because there's only one way that leads to life and i want to tell you people as i was told many years ago that the only solution the one-stop solution to human problem is finding a way. If, if, if I want to do this phone, I need to find the way this phone is done, then I can do the phone. If I don't know the way, I can do the phone. And if you want to master life and live a fulfilled and a purposeful, destiny-oriented life, then you have to find the way to this life. And the way to this life is realizing yourself. Because you are embodiment, you are a complete package. You understand? You are a complete package. In you lies all the potentials, all the capabilities, all the knowledge, all the intelligences, everything you need in this physical lifetime in order to fulfill your earth purpose. It is embedded in you. But your parents are lying to you. Your teacher is lying to you. Your school is lying to you. Your professor is lying to you. Your pastor is lying to you. Your church is lying to you. Your boss is lying to you. But anybody that does not tell you that look into yourself is a liar. That is the absolute truth. Uncompromisable truth. I remember my father once told me. He said, son, defend the truth with all your life. Speak the truth at every given point in time. Even if it means to take your life. And, it, and I asked him why. I said, yes. He said, the truth is God. So by defending the truth, you are defending God. And when you die in the truth, you die in God. We should allow truth to lead us. Let truth be prevail. Why, why, why is the world so much aligned towards negativity, towards deception? And the problem with the world is that Many, many, many people are ignorant. They've been subjected to indoctrination, falsehood, and illusion. And that is what is, has bedeviled our planet. There's too much falsehood, there's too much illusion, there's too much delusion, there's too much deception. And we need to find the truth. And the truth is realizing who you are finding your purpose and finding the way your way in this life and once you find your way everything will begin to fall in place we'll come back again to continue the session thank you very much and god bless you